Here's what it will cost MGM Resorts, whose concert venue that night became a killing ground. Robert Eglett is one of the lead attorneys representing about 4,400 victims. The total settlement amount is expected to be approximately 735 to 800 million dollars. Those 4,400 will share in the amount. A court-appointed administrator will determine who gets what. What do you think this means for the victims? Well, I think it means closure. You know, um, there's something to be able said to be able to at least try to put things behind them. We're going to get them some financial compensations. You know, money, money doesn't bring back loved ones. Money doesn't do away with the with the injuries. Um, it, unfortunately, it's the only system we have. Our goal has always been to resolve these matters so our community and the victims and their families can move forward in the healing process. We have always believed that prolonged litigation around these matters is in no one's best interest, said MGM Resort CEO Jim Murren in a statement today. Legally, it's been a journey with speed bumps. In 2018, MGM Resort sued victims, claiming a federal law shielded it from liability. One of MGM's loudest critics at the time was Eglett. But I was wrong. I was wrong. Who said today MGM is a good corporate citizen that negotiated sincerely and in good faith. Those negotiations began in February and finished Monday when the deal was struck. But after going through eight months of this mediation with with MGM, I do not doubt their good intentions at this time. The settlement dismisses all pending litigation against MGM Resorts. Tuesday was the two-year anniversary of the night 58 died, hundreds more wounded and thousands more scarred. A gunman took his motive to the grave and left us to deal with the hatred he left behind. Today, a step forward. And Eglitz says the settlement is not an admission of liability on MGM's part. MGM Resort says the settlement will be paid by insurance. Jeff Gillen, News 3.